I might not say what everyone is thinking, but my face will. Hello, sports fans. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy, and this is my July Ipsy Glam Bag Review. We are diving in. We've got a lotion. We've got a liner. We've got BB cream. We've got face masks. We have a primer. We've got lots of fun stuff to try. So settle in, check this all out. Do not worry, we will not talk about baseball. Nobody wants to talk about baseball on this channel anyway. First up, we're going to try from Seat London, the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. This is a primer and it's got some cute little flecks in it. If I figure out what they are, I will put a little comment somewhere but yeah, I don't know. Right now, I don't know. I'm sure it's amazing. I'm gonna have to Google that. Anyway, we're gonna try, we're gonna put this down as our base because we've been watching a ton of Nikki tutorials and what does she always say? Not to prime is a what? That's right, a crime. Okay, this is very light, very watery feeling. Um, it smells amazing. Smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Oh. I don't know what happened to the little grainy thing, but oh, there it is. And there it is. That's, that's interesting. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of that because I feel like it's not adding to the look that we're going for today, which is not to look like I fell in dirt. Next up from July's bag, I have this Perlice Radiant Glow Illuminating BB Cream. This is SPF 30, which is great for the summer. Well, really anytime, because you're supposed to be wearing SPF all year round. Let's go ahead and see how this feels. It's supposed to be oil-free, moisturizing, natural looking coverage with illuminating finish. And I will be the judge of that. So we are gonna just start slapping her on. That is the completed BB cream. I feel like it did a good job. The shade, not a terrible match. And this is just light medium, so the fact that I've gotten anything that's like kind of matches, especially from a free sample type of situation, is pretty awesome. I like to have a little, you know, it's evened out the tones, kind of evened my face out, which is great. So, and we're protected from the sun, so win-win. We're going to put on some blush, we're going to put on some bronzer, we're going to put on some eyeshadow, and then we are going to come back because we got a new eyeliner to try and we will give that a whirl. Now that this look is almost finished, we just need a liner and some mascara. So this month I got from Seraphine Botanicals, this is the Luna Liner, and it is the water resistant liquid eyeliner. So we will slap this baby on. So as you can see, it's a nice like sharp felt tip Let's see if we can make a winged eyeliner. Eyeliner is done. And if I may say so myself, not too shabby. Sometimes we've all been there. We're trying to do the eyeliner and then it's just like, can you say disaster? <laughs> this is body lotion by Based. It is seductive sandalwood. Get it on. How sassy. It says, get naked, rub onto skin. Clothing is optional after. I will definitely be wearing clothing because nobody wants to see that. Okay. Definitely sandalwood. Not sure if I'm loving that. <laughs> as far as performing as a lotion, I mean, I put it on the old gams and they do not look like chicken legs anymore. I mean, they're still pasty and pale, but they're softer. So definitely nice there. So, I mean, I'll definitely use it. What's gonna happen as this goes on for the rest of the day? You guys will have to tune in later and see. I'm just kidding. It's gonna be like a hard cut and then bam, I'll be right back. For me, I'm gonna go watch season one of The Glow Up, maybe hang out with the puppy, maybe have another coffee. I don't know what I'm going to do. Things are nuts around here. It is going to be crazy. Will it involve jogging pants? Definitely. Anyway, that's it for now. 
We'll see you guys in a little bit. It's been about five hours since I put my full face of makeup on and it's still looking pretty solid if I do say so myself. The primer from Seattle London, I think that helped create an awesome base. It definitely feels really nice when it's on. The BB cream has hardly budged at all. There's a few little patches on my nose, on my chin, but not terrible. I would definitely go anywhere that I had to go if I went places, which I don't. But someday we will again. The eyeliner, this one is awesome. It is like budge proof, smudge proof, like she is going nowhere, which is awesome because I tend to forget and then I rub my eye and then I've mushed it everywhere. Not with this baby. So this one is awesome. I'm really pleased with that. The primer from Seattle London. This was the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. This one, I'm going to give it a three out of five. I felt like it did a good job, but I'm still a little confused about the little bits in there, which were kind of stuck on my face. Did not get that. But it did feel like it did a good job. It went on nice. It was very smooth. It smelled really nice. So thus, three out of five. The BB cream. This one, she's solid. I'm going to give it a four out of five because it's not quite up to the standard as like some of the more full coverage stuff that I like. The Luna liner from Serafina Botanicals. This one is awesome. This I think is going to become my new favorite. So I'm giving this one a 5 out of 5 because even like rubbing on this right now, it is not going anywhere. Like, uh-uh. Budge proof, smudge proof, and awesome. So 5 out of 5 for that baby. Um, I mean, can we get a ooh, ooh? Now, the based body lotion, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. Here's why. The smell. I don't like it. Mm. I mean, is it a lotion? Did it work? Did it make my skin feel nice? Yeah. That one, eh. Now I'm gonna wipe off everything and I'm gonna give one of the masks a try and I'll insert that now. Our final product is the Dr. Wang Beauty Shea Butter Nourishing Mask. We're gonna leave this on for 15 minutes, see how it feels. It is definitely, smells really nice, and definitely a slimy yet satisfying. We are all done. And this is probably going to look so weird. Alright, I'm going to give it a... Whew, 5 out of 5. Why not? It was good. It felt nice. It wasn't stinging, it didn't burn, none of those like icky types of things that can happen with masks sometimes. Just a really nice nourishing mask. That's it for July's Ipsy Glam Bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video.